tens of thousands of Israelis are up in arms and have continued their agitation for the fifth week against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's government judicial overhaul reforms. The protesters have accused Netanyahu of threatening democratic rule amid an unprecedented clash between the new government and Israel's judges. The protests come weeks after Benjamin Netanyahu returned to power to form Israel's first stable coalition in three years. Critics say Netanyahu, who is on trial for corruption, is trying to rein in the judges in an ultimate attempt to avoid going to jail himself, reported the BBC. They say the judicial overhaul plans would threaten democratic checks on ministers by the courts. We are very proud of our democracy and he wants to make Israel something else. We will not agree, we will do everything in our power to stop it, Hada Weiss, 61, told Reuters at the protest in Tel Aviv. The coalition's planned reforms would allow it to override the courts if they strike down future laws, the BBC reported. Opponents say this would threaten Israel's democratic system of checks and balances. We are here in order to demonstrate against the government of Israel under Netanyahu, which in our belief is against democracy and are going to do anything they can in order to take out democracy of Israel, Ilan Bendry, 70, at a protest in Tel Aviv, told news agency Reuters. Many protesters also bitterly oppose positions of a coalition which includes overtly racist, homophobic and anti-Palestinian parties from the far right. The government's judicial overhaul plans have received flack from several groups, including lawyers, and raised concerns among business leaders, widening already deep political divisions in Israeli society. But the government has maintained that court reforms are needed to curb overreach by judges. Netanyahu has dismissed the protests as a refusal by leftist opponents to accept the results of last November's election. The protesters say Israeli democracy would be undermined if the government succeeds in pushing through the plans, which would tighten political control over judicial appointments and limit the Supreme Court's powers to overturn government decisions. Additional protests and partial strikes are called for Monday when a first reading of the proposals is set to take place in the parliament. What agency inputs?